Hello everyone and welcome back to the Scientific Gamer. Today I'm giving you guys episode number 6 in my am Amnesia, uh, The Dark Descent. And um, if you guys missed out on the previous episode, I am leaving a link down in the description. But we're just jumping right into this game. And um, as I can see, I am underwater somehow. Ow! Okay, well, lesson learned. Keep out of the water. Book it, book it, book it! Are you kidding me? What did that do for me? Is the water going down? Hey. Relax there, bucko. Back off there, bucko! Man, this is gonna give me some deep nightmares. We're cool! Oh my god. Alright, breathe. You got this, buddy! You got this! This guy's a D-bag. Are you kidding me? I came all the way for a potion? I thought there was some... I thought there was some use to this. Meh. Run, Ricky, run! Alright. That's it, you guys. This game is messing with me now. Alright. Slow and steady. Friend. Friends. What is this? A demon I... A demon I can't see? I'm timed! Alright, so, uh... I knew that was a timer. It had to... Alright, this game's gonna definitely kill me. Jesus. Oh my god, this game is killing me now. Barely conscious. Parkour, 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 parkour. Apologize if it seems like I'm screaming, guys. That's because most likely I am. Doors open! Doors open! Get away from me! No, demon, demon! Alright. Woo! So, uh, we got some bad news. I'm all out of lantern, uh. 
Get away from me. Power this sucker back up. Where am I supposed to go? You foul creature. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So I'm gonna book it! Book it! Book it! Book it! That, that ain't open, so that probably wasn't my brightest idea. Is there a lever somewhere? Guys, we might be in some deep water. Let's go. Alright, got an idea. Just duck and weave him. Duck and weave him. He can't handle this. He can't handle you. He can't handle this. He can't handle you. You got this, boy. Grab the thing and turn it! Oh my god. Alrighty then. Um. Let's try this one more time. Is he not here? Oh man. Oh sweet, so if you die a, a, a ton of times towards this guy, you're good. They just give you a free pass. You're like, here you go. It's lit. <laughs> That's how you know I'm terrible at this game. I'm making a logical guess here that, um,. I was not supposed to stand there and uh... Deuces! Get me the hell out of here! Picked up hollow needle. All right, well, um, a strong surgical needle, a sample pick. Sweet, I'm out of here. Deuces. That was not cool. That was actually a lot harder than I would have anticipated. Oh man. It wasn't really hard. I panicked hardcore. That scared the crap out of me, literally. I'm in more water! I've got no oil. Jesus, I'm terrible. There's still going to be another river monster here. This game is next level. Ow! You bully! Just run! Just run! Don't look back! Just run! Hope to find your salvation! Run! Just run! Just run! Screw everything! I believe in you! 
I believe in you, Daniel. I believe in you, Daniel. Don't let me down. There's so many doors. Oh my God. Woo. This game's trying to kill me. Oh man, let's get a pause on this. Let's get a pause on this. Escape artist. Woo. That was intense. Ooh, heart attack, if that's what you want to call it. Come on, why can't it do this to me, game? Water. Shower, bath. Yes. Torches, light, freedom. I love this music. Uh, I'm not gonna be, uh... So, another unsafe quarto? Storage, alright. I'm gonna take an L on the storage. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Had a sneeze real quick. Give me something. Lantern, oil, fuel, anything. Let me go explore the other side just to make sure there's nothing there I should I should be made aware of. Nothing. Man, screw your hauntings. There's another door up here I noticed. Where does this take me? study study room guest room so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to explore this so I might as well start exploring it now so let's go to the study room what you got for me fam he returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings Spooky. man I'm a little upset that took me as long as it did well oh. crap guess we're here aren't we No, this isn't creepy. This isn't creepy at all. You know, just your usual haunting. You know, just hearing dogs get hurt. Pretty sure that's what I'm hearing. Man, screw your house. Right, I need to be careful not to waste this. Because I don't really have much oil. I keep forgetting I could sprint. That's a thing in this game. Oh, I am not reading all this. Uh, guys, I'll let you read this. No, I'll read it. I'll read it. Just because there might be some importance to it. But just pause if you guys want to read it. I'm probably going to read it in my head. I was struggling to the person where the summer I finally found one of the orbs that I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is an inexplicable as described in the words. It was. I was still an underground temple crown with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth as jagged. Its color washed white, rich. It was an impossibility and I could see to capture within the stones. I was staying nearby a village called investigating one, yada, yada, yada. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity. I did my best to fight these instincts and... Which place I scrabbled out of the chamber and onto the woods. I could sense something was following me. It, it bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this garden of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some fishing men in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but unfortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cries of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. Oh wait, there's more. I kept running through the bleak surrounding the trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water I pressed on through the drenched land as a fall as a glowing ember wave rising wind and rained on me I could hear plain screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me I fell to the ground gasping for air though this certainly 
must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside. And the guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the hollowing cry I heard in the fall. It has been nearly a decade since the day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research in the mystical orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to your friend and mentor. Oh. So somebody else found the orb. Oh. But they didn't chase after it. Mm. But apparently, like, I found the orb and it just didn't take the orb back. It didn't leave me alone. It literally took the orb and was like, what's up, fam? I'm haunting you for the rest of your life. Chambers of the what? Oh, that's... Boy, I got a shovel. I will smack you up. I'm... Who left all these lights on? 1658, January 9th. First disappointment, the last finding yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner works of the lights. Yada yada yada, but I hope I know what's up right there would prove less of a hassle of a problem. Yada yada yada. I probably should Okay, nothing happened, nothing happened, just breathe. Shh You're okay, you're okay. Don't worry about it. You didn't see anything. You do need these though, so don't don't forget to pick that. You just destroy their place, might as well. I'm being haunted. I keep forgetting I can run. All right. Um. La da 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 da. I wrote something in my notes or mementos. Find another way around the rubble in the study. I don't know how you want me to do that. I didn't mean to waste it. Oh man. Even though I've got six, it's all good though. It's all good, fam. Can I push this around at all? Nah, there's nothing underneath that. So that means there has to be something in- <gasps> Light will defeat you, creature. Find another way around the rebel. There has to be some a secret passageway. Show me the way. Or I will saw your foot. Oh, man. So they- No, wait. So they did experiments on dogs. No! God! Oh, wait. Now it's in my way. Can I move the picture? Can I move the painting? Hiya! Anything secret about this? I can grab books again. Alright. I don't know. That wasn't me. Where are you, demon? Alright, let me just proceed with the game. Uh, no secret passageway up here. Pretend that didn't happen. Um, go about my day. That's still broken. Don't know how to get there. I'll take one last peek in here. 
Oh wait, is there someone here? Get away, you chair. No, that's a window. Can't open the window. Can I do anything with the fire pit? Give me your secrets! Book, maybe? Pull a candle down? Nothing? Alright, well, let's get out of this place now. Man, this thing is brutal. I know how. Oh, that was a bird. I... Okay. Forget your rabbit. I want secrets. I'm pretty sure there's nothing left here secret-wise. So I'm just going to dip out now. Goodbye. I don't know who threw that chair. But I'm outie. Alright, you guys. But next episode, I'm going to explore the other two rooms. And there's a third. There's the main room we were supposed to go in that I didn't go in. But, um, like always, though, if you liked this episode, guys, please don't forget to smack that like button. If you love my content, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because I do post on it daily. And overall, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next episode.